of six children. I'm a traveler woman that's 37 years of age. Your hair is your beauty. We believe in your hair, your skin, your teeth. When you've got them three things, you've got it all, don't you? <laughs> So Crown Hair and Identity in Traveller Culture, this is a project that explores the subject of hair with traveller women and girls. Hair is an emotive subject and as soon as you bring up the subject of hair, the conversation flows. I never forget the, the first highlights I got in my hair. Um, I was in the hairdressers and there was an elderly woman and she said that's definitely a traveller getting their hair done. She recognised it I suppose from the, the length of the hair. if we went shopping to another town. Yes. Oh yeah, you'd, you'd, you'd know, know who's the traveller. You'd know by their hairstyle. Like, it, it is their crown yeah. and glory. Like, mm -hmm. you know, they're very proud of their hair. Mm -hmm. If you're going out for a social night out, so for a night out in the pub, you leave your hair down, and of course, the lint. So dead giveaway. Well. Dead giveaway, so you're out the door before you even get inside the door in the pub, because you've identified yourself without opening your mouth. Mm -hmm. So yeah. <laughs> The remit of the museum is to represent the history and heritage of all of Ireland and all of its peoples. And in particular, uh, I suppose we're conscious of those that have been not traditionally um, represented within the museum. And that includes the uh, traveller community. While they've been represented, it hasn't been in, in, a, in the most visible way. So something like this wonderful exhibition, Crown Bior, uh, is a celebration and a visibility uh, within the museum of traveller culture. If you took notice of my hair and you didn't say God bless my hair, mm. I'd be weary. Weary, so I, I don't want to do it now because of the pandemic we're in. But you'd spit out three times. So one, two, now to be only little dribbles, three, and you'd be saying in your own mind because you wouldn't want to be ignorant to the person, God bless my hair and save it, I mind it from Breeders' Evil Eye or Rose's Evil Eye or Anne's Evil Eye, whoever would admire it. Because <laughs> If they are marring it, and especially if they're a traveller, they know the word God bless it yeah. is very, very, very vital. So when they know it's so vital, why not say it unless they're putting an evil eye on it? My children always fit it in kind of well, like, well, very well, do you know, and they would have um, friended a lot, as we'd say, country people, like, and invited to their birthday parties, and, do you know. For us, we mix with an awful lot of country people, because it's like, you know, it's nice to have an open culture. I want my children to have an insight to the country life too. But my children would still get racism and discrimination. Travellers are the only indigenous ethnic minority group in Ireland. For centuries, travellers have lived on the margins of mainstream Irish society. But the Irish traveller culture is so rich in so many ways. When we brush our hair, and you clean the, you clean the wipe the hairbrush, and that bundle in the hair, so we say this is the bundle of hair, when well, you have to get rid of that piece of hair very, very, very carefully. So it either goes, in a bottle, an empty bottle, do you do them, with the lid on it and into the bin. Yeah. Or it goes in a fire to be burnt. Because if the crow gets it, the black crow, and they build the nest with it, they won't be left with baldy patches. 
that'll never grow back. Coloured elastics. Anyway. Yeah, like, yeah, they were a big go. They might be practical things on like fruit or. Yeah. Do you remember them? Yeah, yeah, I do. Like bobbins. Yeah. Bobbins. Yeah. Yeah. Was it? yeah. And the ribbons now like that. Yeah. I'd remember them. Um, I'd remember my mother St Patrick's Day buying the green yeah. and the lemon for Easter. Do you know and. Um, along with the okay. Paddy's Day badge and the bit of green and she'd try <laughs> and get you a green jumper. <laughs> <laughs> I talked him from the age of two, and I'd say, and you agree with me, yeah. to here goes a little plaidings, two little plaids, but the top go was and the bottom go was. It'd be the French flat as well. And um, there's a, do you know the other kind of a flat that they can do well? Oh, I forget what you call it now. Oh, fish. the Dutch, the Dutch plaid. Yeah, the fish, the fish tail yeah. flat, yeah. And like there's Dutch plaids yeah. as well. When you plaid it so young and keep it looked after so young, you're, you're, you're encouraging the growth anyway, oh, yeah, and the thickness. And the thickness, yeah. Well, it's up to my girls to say, that's my beauty. Mm. So to me, when I wash the girls' hair, with the children, and I send them over to the pair, it's, it's not comb, because it's right, it, Yeah, you let it dry naturally, and then you comb it. Because yeah. when you're brushing away, it breaks all the hair and damages it. Yeah. But do you understand why now? It's not because we want to chill out with big naughty heads of hair. We want they're, they're out there to protect their heads of hair. Do you do it that way? Yeah, the same way, exactly, yeah. Oh. And mine are teenagers like. So oh, they, we're not related. Yeah, <laughs> same exact thing what she said there now, step by step, like we do the same thing, wash the hair, don't comb it, leave it down to dry. I suppose she'd be afraid that the hair dryer would damage the hair. They'd dry yeah, it out and break it. Yeah. And let it dry natural. That's what I do most of the time with mine. It would break mom and dad if I ever did cut my hair. I don't know, a year yeah. ago. And it did break them. And it broke me further more. But it broke me poor further because he held on to my hair because the colour of my hair resembled my grandmother, but wished her soul to die very young. His mother. So when he'd look at me, he'd have a connection with, when you were supposed spiritual, he'd have a connection with his own mother, God wished her soul. I love this picture because it's the natural me. This is me because I'm not done up. I haven't done a Sunday, you know, it's just me. I suppose travellers are very proud of their hair and they take very, very good care of it. Made me very confident. Made up my profile picture on my Facebook to show myself off. So it's lovely to see hair with rose in the museum. <laughs>